One of my biggest mistakes in 2022 was not creating enough short form content. I literally missed out on the opportunity of gaining thousands of new followers because I was just too stubborn. I don't know about you guys, but personally, I'm very slow to adapt and I find myself often resisting new things. And by the time that I do adapt, I've already missed the train. Originally, my 2023 YouTube growth strategy was to post one vlog, one tutorial, and one YouTube short per week. But now it's the beginning of February and I've already posted 10 YouTube shorts, which is more than double than I planned. And I'm only planning to ramp this up. And the reason is that we're in such an opportunity for growth with short form content and I don't wanna miss the opportunity for new people to be introduced to my channel and to be able to as well enjoy my long form content. The way I see short form content, it's kinda like a trailer for a movie. Before you wanna invest hours into watching a specific Hollywood film, you go and watch a trailer to decide. And I think that's the same for long form content. People are able to watch these short form content videos and as a result, they can then decide, hey, I wanna watch more of this person's content and go watch the main channel's videos. And right now we're also in a very unique season where for the first time probably ever, you can create one piece of content, a short form video, and post it on multiple channels all at the same time. You know, you can create that video and post it on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, TikTok, and even Facebook is posting these short form videos. So with one piece of content, you can be growing four different platforms all at the same time. And the crazy part is that every piece of short form content you create has the opportunity to go viral. I've seen friends go from 10,000 followers on Instagram to 60,000 followers all of a sudden because of one Instagram reel that's gone viral. Or I've seen other friends grow here on YouTube where all of a sudden they're getting 20 to 30,000 or even 40,000 subscribers a month because their YouTube shorts are starting to pop off. It's actually insane the amount of potential there is in short form content right now. So that's why in this video, I wanna share with you guys five tips on how to create great short form content that your audience is gonna to wanna to keep watching. Tip number one, if you wanna create great short form content, it's gotta have a purpose. If you want your short form content to be seen, you gotta keep your viewers watching. If someone swipes to your short form video and they only end up watching one to two seconds, that automatically tells the platform that that wasn't good content and they're not gonna share that video to more people. In my opinion, all content has to have a purpose and it can be broken down into two categories. It can either be educational or entertainment or if you're able to do both, that's the best. Whenever someone's watching short form videos, either they're bored, maybe they're at the grocery store waiting in line or they're sitting in the toilet and they just wanna have a good quick laugh or they are on the hunt for new information trying to learn something new. For me, I'm sticking to the latter. I'm creating short form content that's gonna be informational and help people learn about photography and filmmaking and I'm using the short form video as kind of a teaser to what's to come on my main channel with the long form content, hoping that those people seeing my short form videos would as well then be interested in my long form videos. So whenever you're coming up with ideas for your short form content, make sure you think in your mind, does this serve a purpose? Is this you know, entertaining someone or is this educating someone and how can I use that best to my advantage? Tip number two on how to create great short form content is to follow trends. This is kind of different when it comes to short form versus long form content. With long form content, everyone's trying to be original and unique and create videos that are specific to their channel. You know, you wouldn't go and just copy someone else's video idea. Whereas with short form content, that's almost the trend or the idea. You know, someone comes up with a certain idea and then everyone else makes their different versions of that idea that's personal to them. Now, where you can really use this to your advantage is to find trends in different niches other than just your own and adapt that trend to your niche in order to make a viral video. That tip I actually recently learned from my good friend Arnefer, that Icelandic guy, while we were snowboarding up in Northern Finland. If you missed that interview with him, I'm gonna link it here. It's really awesome. Arnefer is really the king of short form content and he's able to grow all three different platforms with one million plus followers, which is insane. Tip number three for creating great short form content is using captivating graphics and text. 
Because short form content has to be very engaging and you wanna make every single second count, you wanna use text and motion graphics in order to make your content more entertaining. I've noticed that by having captions, you're immediately increasing your engagement because there's a lot of people who are swiping through short form content when they're in places that you can't have audio on. You know, maybe they're in a classroom setting or at a work meeting or they're on the toilet and they don't want any audio to be heard. So by having captions, you're automatically including those people to be able to enjoy your content. Whereas if you don't, they're automatically just gonna swipe away and not watch your short form video. As well with captions, I've noticed that it just helps your brain to be more engaged because you're not only just hearing what the person is saying, but as well you can read and follow as the video plays. On top of captions, I also love to add motion graphics and text in order to just make what I'm saying come alive. For example, in this YouTube short where I talked about my YouTube growth strategy in 2022, throughout that video, I had all these different motion graphics playing and I think as a result, it increased the engagement and got a lot more views. And tip number four is use great music and sound effects. If you wanna make great short form content, you really wanna take advantage of the music and sound effects that you can use out there. You wanna use music that's catchy and trendy and that everyone else is gonna to wanna to use as well and reshare. There are so many artists out there that have literally gone viral because of the different trending videos and songs that short form content creators have used. This year, I've personally partnered with Artlist as a long term sponsor of this channel. Artlist is my new favorite place to get all of my music and sound effects for my videos. So if you been enjoying the music in any of the recent videos that I've posted, Artlist is responsible for that. And what's cool about Artlist is that they've actually helped us creators by creating different albums suited for different themes. And one of the albums is specifically made for TikTok catchy, trendy music that you can use for your short form content. And this is so helpful because instead of having to go and search for different songs to use for your short form content, I can quickly go to this album and just choose a favorite song for my short form videos, saving me so much time in the creation process. And we all know as content creators, time is one of our more valuable resources. So whenever I can save time on any step of the way, I am grateful. On top of music, I'm also downloading different sound effects tracks from Artlist library in order to make all my motion graphics come alive. I've learned that a motion graphic or animation just isn't the same without a sound effects to go along with it. It's really half complete without the sounds. With Artlist, I love the fact that I don't need to go and sign up with a separate service in order to get sound effects. Rather, I can download all of my music and all of my sound effects all on one platform. And when it comes to sound effects, pretty much whatever sound you need, you have it. You want a sound effects for camera shatter? Check. If you want some digital sounds for your Tron themed animations, check. Or if you want to show off a price for a certain product, you got the cash register, check. If you are watching this video, most likely you are a content creator. And if you want to conquer the whole short form content world, I'd highly recommend checking out Artlist. Artlist actually has a very affordable monthly subscription of $9.99 for their music and sound effects. And if you want to add on top of that cinematic stock footage, templates, plugins, or even their very own editing software, that's all been packaged into the Artlist Max monthly subscription, which goes for only $29.99. So for that price, you're getting all the assets that you would ever need to create great short form content. And if you want to save some cash, you can actually use the link in my description to get two months free with the yearly subscription. Once again, thanks to Artlist for partnering with my channel. And the last and final tip on how to create great short form content, tip number five is helping your audience watch till the end. On top of everything that we've talked about in this video, all the different things about education and entertainment and how to keep the people engaged through text, motion graphics, music, sound effects, all that stuff, I just wanna share in this final tip some tips and tricks to help you guys entice your audience to not only just click the video, but as well to watch the video all the way to the end, which is gonna help the algorithm gods share your YouTube short form content with a lot more people. The first thing that I've noticed that really helps people watch all the way to the end is countdowns. I've seen a lot of photographers where they show the location that they're shooting at and then they have a countdown from five, four, three, two, one, and all of a sudden they show the final shot that they took. And I think that really helps because it creates this certain kind of curiosity or intrigue, like what kind of shot is the photographer gonna get? 
And as well, every single second that you're waiting is another second of audience retention time, which is in return gonna, you know, tell the algorithm and the platform saying, hey, people enjoy watching this video, we should share this to more people. So utilizing countdowns is really great. Another great strategy to help people watch to the end is sharing tips. I've noticed that if you share three tips, it's really good because it's not just one thing you wanna share and that's it, but it's also not too many tips where people are just gonna get lost, but it's enough tips where it's gonna create some sort of curiosity. So a person might hear the first tip, maybe they're not too interested or engaged, but there's a second or third tip that might interest them. So they'll probably keep watching because maybe the second or third tip will be something that will hit home for them. So I think sharing three tips is really great. One tip, well, the person might hear the beginning of the tip and be like, I'm not interested and just swipe away. Or if you have, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 tips, first of all, you're just not gonna be able to share that many tips in a short form video. And second, I think your audience is just gonna get lost. So using tips in tutorials is a great way for people to keep watching till the end. And the last trick I wanna share with you guys to help your audience watch your YouTube shorts till the end is using prompts. Using simple prompts like, hey, let me know at the end of this video which photo was your favorite is not only gonna help keep your audience accountable to watch the video to the end, but as well, it's gonna be a lot more engaging and they're gonna be posting comments in the comment section. Or saying things like, hey, what tips would you add to this list is gonna make the person want to watch the video all the way to the end to know which tips were shared and as well which tips they could then add in the comments section. These are just a few examples and there are many more out there but they're going to help motivate your audience to watch your video to the end which in turn is going to motivate platforms like YouTube and Instagram and TikTok to share your short form content with even more people. All right, here's to explosive growth in 2023. This is a train that I am definitely not going to miss out on.